Okay, so in this first example, guys, you're looking at this, here's your function. We know that in this function, we know that our radicand must be greater than or equal to zero. Now, what is our radicand in this example? Radicand is what's under the radical, which is x plus two, okay? So we know our radical, x plus two, has to be greater than or equal to. Greater than or equal to. So we gotta think, what is greater than or equal to? Going back to algebra one, doing those one variable inequalities on a number line. Oh yeah, greater than or equal to zero. Right? Now, to, f to find basically the domain, all we simply need to do is just solve for x. So we'll just subtract two on both sides. x has to be greater than or equal to negative two. That is your domain in interval notation. So by finding the domain, it's going to be x is greater than or equal to negative two. So that's interval notation. Let's go ahead and write in the other one because you, we're going to go back and forth. So x is greater than or equal to negative two. So that means negative two is the smallest value, right? Would you guys agree with me? So when you're doing interval notation, you basically have two values. You have the smallest, and then you go to the largest. Small, large. So you do the smallest value first, and then to the largest. <clears throat> and it can, be, it can be included or not included. So um, the smallest value is negative two. So we'll write that in there. Now is negative two included? Here's the inequality sign, is negative two included? Yes, so we erase the parentheses. Because remember in your notes that you just wrote down, parentheses are excluded, per, uh, um, uh, brackets are included. Then we go to the largest value. If it can be greater than, like how big can we go? Can we go to 100, a million, two million? How, how far can we go? What it represents keep on continuing up? Infinity. And then, but actually is infinity actually a number? No, so we actually can't include infinity, so we have to use the parentheses, okay? Both representations are correct. Does that make sense a little bit? Más o menos? Okay. All right, now we do to the next one. 